Hello everybody! Sorry for a little bit of a mini hiatus. As you may or may not know, it was just my birthday and the summer's always really hectic and busy for me, so please forgive me there. I've done some stuff but I just haven't gotten around to editing and uploading, so forgive me there. Today I'm gonna be talking about uh, a topic I'm slightly passionate about, but before I do that I want to throw out there really quick that me and the boy have acquired a new family member. We adopted a kitten. Uh, we've had her for less than a week, but we wanted to to do a kitten stream of sorts on Sunday, this December 15th of 2019, preferably cross platform. So, both YouTube and Twitch. If we can't, we can't. We'll do one and then the other, perhaps. But the most important thing about it is that we were looking to do a charity stream and try to collect money for our new family member chocolate chip but also more importantly to the rescue center that she came from so if you would like to donate to rescued kitties please consider watching and contributing or if you don't have any doll hairs to spare and you just want to see cats feel free to tune in it would be awesome and even if you feel uncomfortable with like giving us money per se we'll leave the links to the actual Actual center itself so that you could donate straight to them. So without further ado, thank you for listening to that little opener. Let's get into today's topic. So today I'm talking about why your art sucks and just failure as an artist altogether. So I'd like to talk about why failure is important, why you're stuff sucks and how you can kind of overcome all of that. So right off the bat, you guys should know that art is incredibly subjective. I do not like to promote like good art versus bad art if that makes sense. I just think art is art. If someone can tape a banana to a wall and call that art, then you can do whatever the heck you want and it's still to some degree art, right? I mean obviously there's varying levels of like what other people appreciate and like looking at, but you know, it depends depends on everybody, each in their own. But the most important <clears throat> person or people in this scenario is you and or prospective customers or people consuming your art. Now if you're a child in the second part probably doesn't really matter so much. So the real main contender here is yourself. And <laughs> God could come down from the heavens himself and bestow upon you the best artist ever to have ever existed in the realm of the universe award. And you could still probably sit there and think like, man my art sucks. And that's just, that's part of being an artist, you're always your own worst critic and as the kids say, it be like that sometimes. So let's talk about that friends. So let's say you draw something and it's just, it's not working, you really don't like it, you want to scrap it, or maybe you even like drew something for a commission and the commissioner like doesn't like it or something. Obviously that sucks, right? No one likes that, no one wants to be a part of that, but here's the thing, failure is super, super important. It's important to growing, it's important to to getting better and you can't get better until you fail. Trust me, I'm pretty certain that any of your favorite artists didn't just magically up one day started doing what they do as good as what they do. They probably started off very similarly to you. They probably hated their stuff at first and over time they, they failed and they got better and their art doesn't quote unquote suck anymore. And you never know, they could be drawing exactly what they're drawing right now and still think that what they're doing sucks. And and that is okay. It is okay for stuff not to look the way that you want it to. It's okay if you don't know how to make it look the way you want it to. And honest to God, that's just part of the process. It's part of being an artist. It's this whole process. So I wanted to give a few hot takes that could hopefully help you, such as do not get attached to the art you're doing in the moment. And what that means is not like, you know, hate everything you draw or anything like that, but more so you don't want to like draw something and just either a be just like this is the best thing ever and then when you don't get the reaction that you expected it tears you apart or b you're really letting something that didn't quite turn out how you want it to whether or not you finished it or you're still on board doing it just drag you down because you can't get over the fact that it doesn't look like how you want it to you don't want to be stuck in that boat you really don't so don't forget to take a moment and like breathe and accept that, you know, things can change, things can move on. Also, I'm sorry if you could hear the cat meowing in the background. Just don't let right now anchor you. Learn, move on, etc. So some tippy boys I have for you. First off, I think a lot of us need to really distinguish the difference between like the concept of like sketches and doodling and like fully finished pieces. A lot of people forget that uh, a doodle or a sketch isn't a fully finished piece. And 
and there's a lot of uh, artists out there that actually do try to you know post something that's very clearly like a fully rendered fully finished image and go oh i just doodle blah 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 Blech. they could shut up but either way here's the hot take of the week that you need to take from this that you need to internalize that you need to grow up with and that is this little seedling of an idea you need to start rough right like that's what sketching is supposed to be it's not supposed to look good you need to kind of let go of this concept of like perfection because that's not what art is you are trying to create something right you're trying to make whatever it is that you're making look as close to what you want it to as possible like for instance when you paint a banana you're not making a physical banana you are using various art tools to create the illusion of a banana and you could still make a bomb banana without it looking like photorealistically perfect etc like i I know that might sound weird to say, maybe it sounds dumb, but start very quick, very loose sketches, five minute sketches, or even like minute sketches. Learn how to make the basic shapes of things first. And I feel like if people got more into the habit of the sorts of things that we'd probably kind of let go a little bit more on this concept of perfection because you, you are not going to sketch out something perfect. That's just not how it works. It's never going to work that way. If you ever look at a really, really good artist sketch, you probably cannot even discern what the heck it's supposed to be. And that's what a sketch is. It's kind of guidelines for where maybe a more refined sketch or line art will go, right? So allow yourself to do loose, light sketches. Allow yourself to build up from there. Like when you paint, you don't like go super high detail all at once, right? You start off with basic shapes and flat colors and then you go in and you add like shades and highlights and details and you keep going in and going and adding more and adding more and you should really strive to do that with your art if you really don't like something start light and then add on to it and then add on to it you don't like something add on to it you know what i'm saying work from there or if you really just don't like a sketch and you want to scrap it sure but then in the next one you can take what you feel doesn't look right with that one and try something new or try again on the next one another huge point to art is that you need to experiment you need to take your time doodle a lot and you cannot be afraid to try new things i know that it might be intimidating but it's definitely worth it because you can't get better at something if you don't try so even if like if you do something that you think oh that's not gonna work it's still worth a shot so definitely try doing that I don't know if this is a problem for anybody, but with this point here, and this is this is personally me, I can't say I've seen this like mentioned by any other artist that I'm aware of, but I feel like a lot of like newbie like anime artists really reject kind of like actual art rules, if that makes sense. Which I know it sucks, I know it's annoying, I know anime is different than like photorealistic paintings, but still the same art like rules and you know all that kind of stuff like the elements of art still applies if you want a quote-unquote good image you still have to exercise those things lines space color you know shape all those sorts of things they still apply and if you look at any of your really big popular artists or your famous artists or whatever whatever ones you really admire chances are you could probably find elements of those things in their art I mean you don't have to have it down to like this crazy obnoxious science like your art teacher's like okay make a picture that executes line or form in a very specific way like of course you're not gonna do that because after you get used to it it becomes this like background skill that you're kind of used to but you still have to kind of get there so i really suggest if you're in a pickle and you feel like you're just not good that it does not hurt to take it back to the basics study your basic art stuff your form your line your shape color all the kind of stuff like color combinations and palette stuff learn some figure sketching anatomy stuff you know start small and build it up do it on the side sometimes and keep in mind that it is okay wherever you are right now is perfectly fine and it will get better and you can't stress yourself out i saw a tweet about something and i thought it would really apply to this conversation i feel like a lot of us want to kind of retreat from discomfort instead of like 
standing up to it. So as that kind of pertains to art, for instance, if you draw something you don't like, I feel like a lot of us just kind of want to, I don't know, like run away from that fact. Like either we just shrug our shoulders and post it anyway and continue to dislike it and ourselves and our art and don't draw that often, or like there's things that you can definitely improve on but you're like no i'm fine you know what i mean but it's more so that first one that really gets to me and i think it's more important like i think a lot of us out here really need to withstand com discomfort we need to withstand failure and it's totally fine it's totally okay if something doesn't turn out the way you want it to the first time or even the second time or the third time just keep going <laughs> I know it sounds cheesy, but that's just, that's how art works. It really is. You gotta keep going with it. So what's most important to me about all this is like your attitude. First, foremost, lastly, everything in between. I feel like an artist that hates their art, no matter how good they actually are, is always an art that's just not as fun to look at as other artists. You lack like inspiration and creativity and happiness and people can sometimes see that. And I see a lot of artists that just like churn out stuff that they see that's like similar to artists that they like like i can see it when an artist has been inspired by something that i've done or like some artists i follow because they look like almost like factory copies if that makes sense so like you know how there's a stereotype there's like your country's product and then like the chinese cheap version factory made or whatever it's kind of like that i can see it i can tell and that's not to say that anybody's art is you know some worthless manufactured sort of no like everybody's art has worth but you can kind of tell when someone's not as like into their art as other people and it's okay to have inspiration from other artists and in fact i really do encourage it i think you should surround yourself in art and stuff that you really like so that it inspires you because if you're inspired you're more likely to create <laughs> and if you're sitting in that nice little formula more likely that you're happy or you'll make stuff that just visually looks more appealing no matter how quote unquote good or not that you are before ending today's video i'd like to share a little something something so so one of the things that has changed for me recently that's kind of slowed me down online a little bit is for my birthday I got myself a screen tablet and I had been using the like non-screen drawing tablets for a hot minute now but I'm not here to like flex on that or anything but I did want to share that I have been on the internet posting my art for quite a minute now and I think it's been about perhaps like 12 years and I think I've had a tablet for 11 or 10 of those years so I'm going to share some images on screen of some of my digital art pieces that I've made from then until now because they're so very different <laughs> from what I do now and I want to prove to you guys that failure happens sometimes you make stuff that sucks but if you're enjoying yourself at the time who the hell cares you'll eventually get better and it will be a plus so if you're an artist and you're listening right now my friend your art sucks because you don't have the right attitude you can't accept failure you can't grow from your mistakes and as soon as you can kind of get all those things in rain get a hold of everything that's when i think that your art does not suck <laughs> So hopefully this is helpful. I just wanted to make a quick video. I really, 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 really would like feedback on this one. So give me your thoughts, your opinions, and of course, as always, your questions, comments, concerns, both about the topic of this video and the speed paint I'm featuring in this video. And of course, social media is there for you to stroke and love. <laughs> interact with whatever you want to. Also, I have finally really put up an Etsy store and I'm really trying to get a bunch of listings up so most, not all, but most of my stuff is up there now so if you want to support me that'd be fantastic. You could go there and buy literally anything and I will ship it to you and if not that's cool just give me a follow or whatever else has you and the people who have like commented and uh, followed me and all this while I've been a little bit inactive, thank you. Hopefully Hopefully more videos coming in the future. If there's anything you want me to talk about, feel free to mention it and I will try to give it a go. So everybody, thank you for listening. I'll catch you next time. Bye!